The marine industry is essential for trade and commerce. World economies couldn't operate without shipping. Whether that's moving essential cargo, exploration of minerals or fishing to feed people. Marine growth on hulls, pipe work and coolers increases fuel consumption and maintenance costs. Every year the marine industry spends more than 5.7 billion US dollars trying to combat marine growth. As part of this drive, the shipping sector globally dissolves in excess of 7 million kilograms of copper ions into the sea. This comes from copper antifouling anodes and copper paints. But the world's oceans are a vulnerable environment. Marine species and habitats are sensitive to human activity. The copper pollution from antifouling has a devastating effect on sea life and marine mammals. Here at MGPS, we plan to change that. Our commercial antifouling systems use ultrasonic technology to prevent marine growth from establishing on vessels. But what is marine growth and how does it attach to ships? Marine growth, or biofouling, is any biological growth on a vessel. It can grow in the hull, in the seawater system and in coolers. The growth can reduce the efficiency of the hull and machinery, causing a substantial increase in fuel consumption. It is also difficult and expensive to clean off the ship, especially if it infests pipes and coolers. So how does ultrasonic antifilm from MGPS work? Various species of marine growth start off as larvae and seed suspended in the seawater. They float about until they come into contact with a suitable surface to attach to. They are very sensitive to the environment though and require several criteria to be in an optimum condition before they can colonise and grow on the surface. These criteria can be water temperature, salinity, light levels and of course a stable surface in which to attach to. An ultrasonic antifouling system transmits ultrasonic sound waves into the surface being protected. By doing this at exactly the correct frequency, the waves cause a resonance response in the protected surface. This causes the surface to vibrate, which causes that suboptimal environment for the larvae and seed to attach to. It really is that simple. The complicated part is getting the acoustics just right to cause that vibration. But through research and development, our electronic controls and software are able to do just that. Some legacy ultrasonic systems, who were put in the market before the science was really understood, claim that the antifouling is caused by cavitation on the surface caused by the ultrasonic waves. This isn't true. And thankfully so, as that process would damage the surface over time through erosion, in the same way that a propeller suffers erosion through cavitation. Some structures are more complicated to protect, such as box coolers on ships. To do this, we place multiple transducers on top of the cooler's manifold. These transmit the sound waves into the fluid inside. The ultrasonic waves travel with the fluid into the tube nest of the cooler, and that causes the tubes to vibrate. Again though, there's a catch. The sound waves must be of both sufficient pressure to penetrate deep into the tube nest, and of the correct frequency to cause the resonance response from the tubes to ensure good vibration keeps the growth at bay. Only the commercial ultrasonic systems available from MGPS have truly developed the complex acoustic and electronic solutions to offer 100% environmentally friendly antifouling to the commercial marine industry. Visit our website at mgpsltd.com for more information on our commercial ultrasonic antifouling systems. You can also follow MGPS on Facebook and Instagram. Marine Growth Prevention Specialists. Clean Ships, Clean Seas.